Classically Dad here. Welcome to the channel. Michelangelo was born March 6th, 1475 in Caprese, Italy. While arguably most known for the frescoes on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo was a true Renaissance man. He primarily thought of himself as a sculptor, but he was also a painter, an architect, poet, and an engineer. He is considered one of the greatest artists in history. Michelangelo was a complicated man. He had a reputation for being tremendously generous toward his assistants, as well as incredibly hot-tempered. In a deal struck with a church leader, he once bartered a wooden crucifix in exchange for space to conduct illegal dissections of human cadavers. He did this in an effort to master the human form. He was a deeply religious man. Unlike many artists in history, his fame grew during his lifetime, not after. Books were written about him. People recognized him when he walked around town. And thus, he decided to live a life of solitude, seeking to commune only with a small group of people. Jean Belair de Legola, a French cardinal who served the church in Rome, commissioned the 21-year-old Michelangelo to create the most beautiful work of marble in Rome, one that no living artist could better. The cardinal wanted the Pieta to be his tombstone. Michelangelo finished the sculpture in two years, and many believe it to be his finest work. The Pieta depicts the moment Jesus was taken from the cross and handed to his mother. She is pictured grieving and contemplating the dead body of her son. Paeta means pity or compassion in Italian. Take time to observe at the masterful work of Michelangelo. The hard marble flesh looks as if it would be soft to the touch. Look at Mary's right hand. As she lifts the lifeless arm of Christ, you can note that the flesh of Christ's arm moves at her touch. The intricate floating fabric appears that it would sway at the slightest breeze. Notice the detail in the carved ribs and the crafted chest and the abdominal muscles of Christ. This amazing representation of the human body reveals Michelangelo as an expert of anatomy. Let's picture the creation of this piece. Michelangelo brought in one colossal chunk of white and blue Carrera marble. It was percussive and dusty work. Can you see him place the chisel at just the right angle? Can you hear the mallet hit the chisel gently but with great force? Can you hear the small pieces of marble drop to the floor, scattering the dust? Michelangelo chipped with mallet and pointed chisels and used files, rasp, and smooth chisels for the more refined, detailed work. Look closely at the sash across Mary's chest. What do you see? Well, after the Pieta was completed, Michelangelo overheard some claiming it was the work of another artist. Michelangelo returned at night with a small light and chisels and he added his signature to the sash. He later regretted his action, considering it an act of vanity. He never signed another piece of work. Michelangelo died in 1564 at the age of 88. He was sculpting into the last days of his life. Michelangelo once said, every block of stone has a statue inside it, and it is the task of the sculptor to discover it. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. It's so nice when you share. Thanks for visiting Classically Dad.